Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their top stock picks of the week. Stock picks at Zach's this week. Today I'm looking at Uber Technologies, and Brian is looking at what stock are you looking at today, Brian? MI Homes, ticker symbol MHO. Okay, nice. So we're getting two totally different aspects of uh, the market, which is nice. So after this long weekend, I'm looking at Uber, as I said, which trades in the ticker UBER. So Uber shares are up about 90% so far in 2023, and the ride hailing firm in early August reported gap operating profit for the first time in its history. So Wall Street's now celebrating its ability to expand its ride hailing and delivery businesses while also simultaneously focusing on the bottom line, which is a great sign. So the company crushed our Q2 earnings estimates on August 1st and it boosted its guidance as ridership booms and delivery continues to hum along. So Uber is also experimenting with new revenue streams, which includes some ad services on the Uber app and Uber Eats. So overall its revenue climbed about 14%. Last quarter, with its gross bookings up 16% to about $34 billion, so some big numbers there. Its recent results highlight that people are kind of back to living their normal pre-pandemic lives in full force, which is a great sign. And crucially, the resurgence of its ride-hailing segment hasn't come at the expense of delivery, which highlights the strength of its two core businesses that are especially popular with higher income consumers that are less impacted, say, by lingering inflation, and they just love the convenience that Uber offers. Uh, So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, other fundamentals of Uber. So right now, this is the Uber's chart since it went public back in 2019. So we can see the stock's up about 13%, but we're not as concerned about this long-term performance. We'll now look over the last year. So we can see Uber's up about 62%, easily beating the S&P 500, which is up about 16%. And then year to date, we can see some impressive numbers here, uh, as I said, up about 90%. It had a little bit of selling as people took profits after that big quarter, and we've already seen it kind of bounce back in a big way. So we'll look at some technical levels just to give people a sense of where Uber's trading. So yeah, back above that 50-day moving average after kind of chopping around, holding that line, which is a bullish indicator. And it's not oversold or overbought kind of in the middle of those RSI levels, which is a good sign. Now we'll look at some valuation levels as well here for Uber. So we can go over to... We'll do a peg ratio here just to give a sense of how Uber's valuation levels are looking if this chart wants to to load for me at the moment. And it looks very strange. Give me one second. Uh, Sorry about the the way this looks, but we can see that Uber's uh, peg ratio is at 1.2 versus the S&P 500. It's uh, 7.6. And if we look at some of these other numbers, you can see that uh, it traded as high as 15 times uh, or 15 in terms of peg ratio over the last year. So uh, obviously some of the valuation metrics are messed up a little bit for Uber when you consider uh, its earnings. So we'll look at uh, price to sales here for 12 month sales. And once again, sorry for a little bit of delay on these, these charts, but yeah, we can see Uber trading at a solid valuation level compared to the broader market and in terms of some of its recent performance. And now we'll take a look at some of the outlook for Uber. So we can see it has that Zach's rank number one strong buy uh, after those impressive uh, quarters it had in the positive earnings revisions it's seen. So looking ahead, we're calling for 17% revenue growth this year and then another 18% revenue growth next year to get all the way up to about $44 billion. And then swinging from an adjusted loss of $4.65 all the way up to positive earnings of $0.41. And then soaring another 161%, 162% next year to $1.08 per share. So that's a really positive sign that we can see these upward earnings revisions uh, trending higher. And we can see it beat by a huge uh, amount on the the last quarter as well. And then we'll go over to quickly look at some uh, key company metrics just to give a sense of more of these things that we have for, uh, oh, excuse me, Uber available here. So we can see down, we're expected to get up to monthly active platform customers, about 146, nearly 147 million riders, so a big from 131 million last year. So all of these uh, signs are pointing to Uber being in a, in a really solid position at the moment. And 
Uh, overall, Wall Street's really high in the stock too. So 27 of the 33 brokerage recommendations that Zacks has are at strong buys alongside four that are buys and only two holds. So no sells in there. So overall, Uber's long-term uh, outlook remains pretty strong. And they're trying to get into that forward-looking market as they're they're still investing in autonomous fleets where people are going to be able to drive around cities and deliver food and transport goods in these autonomous vehicles. So while they're spending uh, in the moment and cutting costs and delivering on their core business at the moment, they're looking ahead as well. So that's that's a really good reason why you should maybe consider Uber at the moment and as a long term play. So that does it for my uh, pick of Uber. Now we're going to send it back over to Brian. Thanks, Ben. I really like Uber here as well. I think its best days are ahead of it. Uh, my name is Brian Hayes. I'm a fellow strategist here with Zach's. Hope everyone had a nice Labor Day weekend. And I have another exciting pick for you, so let's jump right in. My top stock pick is one of the nation's leading home builders of single family homes. The company I'm referring to is MI Homes, ticker symbol MHO. This company designs, constructs, and sells single family homes as well as attached townhomes to first time millennial move up and luxury buyers. MI Homes operates primarily in states like Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Florida, Texas, and Tennessee. So this is a high quality home builder that is in some of the hottest markets in the country. And in addition to purchasing uh, undeveloped land for the construction of single family homes, the company also originates and sells mortgages, as well as serves as a title insurance agent. MI Homes was founded back in 1976. They're based out of Columbus, Ohio. So that's a bit about the company's background and services. Let's shift gears a bit and take a look at MI Homes Industry Group. Digging a bit deeper here, MI Homes is part of the Zacks Building Products Home Builders Industry, which is currently ranked in the top 2% out of approximately 250 industries. And because it is ranked in the top half of all Zach's ranked industries, we expect this group to outperform the market over the next three to six months. And as we can see, the industry has performed very well this year, currently up over 48% versus a gain of roughly 18% for the S&P 500. Quantitative research studies suggest that about half of a stock's future price appreciation is due to its industry grouping. In fact, the top 50% of Zach's ranked industries outperforms the bottom 50% by a factor of more than two to one. By targeting stocks contained within leading industry groups, we can dramatically improve our odds of success. And take a look at all these Zach's ranked number one buy stocks contained within this leading industry. This serves as another confirmation signal that this group is a great place to be as stocks within this industry are witnessing positive earnings estimate revisions, which our research has shown to be the most powerful force impacting stock prices. Also note the favorable valuation characteristics for this industry here. Despite the impressive moves this year, stocks in this group remain relatively undervalued on average. And moving to our snapshot page here, we can see that MI Homes is a Zax ranked number one strong buy, and the company is ranked favorably by our Zax style scores with the best possible A rating in our value category and an overall B VGM rating. Back in July, the company reported second quarter earnings of $4.12 a share, which translated to a 68.16% uh, beat over the consensus estimate. MI Homes has delivered a 40.38% average earnings surprise over the last four quarters. So they've been consistently beating earnings estimates recently, and the stock price is reflecting this. The stock is trading near all time highs and ended this past Friday's session at its highest closing price ever. The stock is up more than 100% this year and only stocks that are in very powerful uptrends are able to make this type of price move and witness such massive outperformance. Despite the impressive price gains, MI Homes trades relatively undervalued at just a 5.97 forward PE. 
And as we can see here, earnings estimates have been rising across the board. As we look ahead to next year, EPS estimates have been increased by 38.34% in the past 60 days. The 2024 Zacks Consensus EPS estimate now stands at $18.22 a share, reflecting potential growth of nearly 8% relative to this year. It's exactly the type of trend we want to look for when narrowing down our list of potential stocks. So it's obvious the growth is there for MI Homes and looks set to continue. So MI Homes, ticker symbol MHO, is my top pick of the week. I think we see more strength in home builders for the remainder of the year and into next year. Make sure you subscribe to get all of our top stock picks. We bring them to you here each and every week on Zacks.com. From Ben and I and everyone here at Zacks, thank you for watching. Tune in next week for more of our top stock picks.